surviving an asteroid impact, the chances that your tombstone will read, killed by asteroid are about the same as they'd be for killed in airplane crash. Neil deGrasse Tyson. The first thing you should do is move to a safe location away from a pressure wave. Even though the fireball is tens of miles distant, it has the potential to detonate in mid-flight. A sky burst, believe it or not, is considerably more harmful to you than an impact since the majority of the pressure in an impact is directed up into the sky rather than down towards you. If you're driving, come to a complete stop dot if you want to be a part of something substantial. You can use a boulder or a concrete wall, but you don't want anything to fall on you. To preserve your hearing, cup your hands over your ears and keep your eyes closed. You'll know whether something bad is going to happen to you in a minute or three. Underground is great, but keep in mind that if the structure above you falls, you may be stranded in a basement. Drainage ditches, culverts, and other similar structures are also good places to wait it out. There's a good chance you'll just hear a loud boom of displaced air. Do a first aid check on yourself and anyone around you if you're close enough for damage. Be wary of downed trees, traffic accidents, and people in the road when driving. Send an SMS to everyone telling them that you were just in an asteroid impact zone and that they should not try to call you. You're awake, and you're going to phone them. Cellular networks will rapidly become overburdened. Let's suppose it's a large one. Greater than 500 meters, one kilometer. Anywhere near you, an impact of that magnitude is a dreadful day. You may have to deal with a firestorm if you survive the pressure wave. Impacts generate tremendous heat, which ignites massive quantities of vegetation that may be hurled hundreds of kilometers. That blazing debris is dangerous in and of itself, but it also sets other items on fire rapidly. In that scenario, the best location to hide is as far away as possible. If it's a massive one, with a circumference of more than one kilometer, there's no hiding spot. Impacts of that magnitude damage whole hemispheres and have long-term consequences for the entire planet. Any meteor smaller than 300 meters that enters Earth's atmosphere is extremely likely to break up on contact, with meteorite impacts occurring over a circular to elliptical region depending on the angle of entry and, in my view, not providing you with any time to take evasive action if you are in the impact zone. Furthermore, because these particles will have cooled by the time they reach the surface, they are unlikely to generate craters or flames. If the meteor is 200 to 300 meters in diameter, the airburst will be the most dangerous part. Now you know where to hide if an asteroid really hit the Earth. Hope you found this video informative and do not forget to like share and subscribe to our channel, Explified.